Previously on The Betty Jean Baker Show. Pass me the f white claw. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Ugh. Macaroni and cheese. First of all, Kraft Nord, <laughs> I'd put cheese on a paper plate and eat that whole thing. And I used to do that. Somebody one time invited me over to their house for a cheese plate, and I thought that's exactly what they were inviting me over there for. And then I learned about a charcuterie, and now I know what it is. <laughs> Follow directions on the box. Here's your one chance fancy. Don't let me down. Bam, 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 bam. Squish, 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 squish. If you're wussy ass, you can scale it down a little bit. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Mmm, good cracker. I had Mercedes Benz, I had Duke's mayonnaise, Gucci, all of them have been after me. All right, y'all, let's take a peek. Woo, Gucci's! Mm. Oh, hey, y'all, it's me, Betty Jean Baker, and this is the Betty Jean Baker Show. Here we are for the Dragzilla level up of macaroni and cheese. Mm, mm. Y'all, I'm still enjoying some White Claw. I thought I was gonna go classy and put it in the glass for this part because I didn't get to finish it the last time. Is it hot in here or is it just me? I think it's me. <laughs> it's also damn hot in here, it's the kitchen. Woo! The stove is on. Do I look like a Bond girl? Yeah, I know I do, y'all. Why didn't they have a large and lovely Bond girl? James Bond didn't like a large and lovely. James Bond would have to have a whole special mission to try to get up on that. <laughs> what is that? Either it's the White Claw or there's a no see -em in here. I can't can't tell. Mm, mm, mm. Here's our Dragzilla level up of some macaroni and cheese. Now this is my own invention. Every cook in the South has their version of macaroni and cheese. If you try to go on the internet or on Pinterest and you're looking, everybody's got macaroni and cheese. John Legend has macaroni and cheese. Paula Deen's got macaroni and cheese. Martha Stewart's got macaroni and cheese. She from the South. Emerald Lagasse's got macaroni and cheese. Alton Brown, uh, who, who the hell is Alton Brown? Patty LaBelle has famous macaroni and cheese. Oh, pioneer woman. Oh, pioneer woman making a macaroni and cheese. You know it doesn't taste like anything. It got no flavor. She's like Little House on the Prairie. Y'all remember Little House on the Prairie? Laura Ingalls Wilder. And then she had that sister who went blind, and that blind sister had the hottest damn husband who was also blind. That's a fantasy of mine. Michael Landon, he was a damn sexy ass daddy. How, how could you live in that town with Michael Landon looking like that all the time? They had a drag queen living right there in that little village. That Nellie, that Nellie, she was awful. She was a monster. She had the most glamorous hair though and the, and the nicest clothes, but she was the meanest ass bitch. I know a drag queen just like that. I hope she's watching. And I, oh. Well, here's Betty Jean Baker's leveled up mac and cheese. I start out my macaroni and cheese and I use 16 ounces of cavatappi noodles. They're curly, spirally noodles and they got little ridges on the side and that was going to suck up all this cheese and flavor. I'm going to add eight ounces of Colby Jack cheese, eight ounces of cheddar cheese, eight ounces of sharp white cheddar. Mm. Then I'm going to add in my seasoning. Two tablespoons of dry mustard. One tablespoon of pepper. One tablespoon of garlic. One tablespoon of garlic powder. My secret ingredient for extra kick of flavor is I mix a teaspoon of vegetable bouillon in some water and I mix it in the macaroni. Three eggs. One teaspoon of Lowry seasoned salt. Two tablespoons of sugar. Three tablespoons of melted butter. One teaspoon of onion powder. One cup of heavy cream. One cup of evaporated milk. Y'all, and here's why I'm wearing this sexy red hot mama outfit. I'm gonna add a small secret ingredient. It gives it that little bit. It's Frank's hot sauce. I'm gonna put in three tablespoons of Frank's hot sauce. It don't make it that hot. It just gives it that little vinegary undertaste and an extra little kick. Oh, that Frank's hot sauce is so good. I wish I knew who Frank was because I sure would marry that man. Uh -uh. I beg him to give me this hot sauce all the time. I could drink it, y'all. I could drink a drink that was called Frank's Hot Sauce and something. You put some Frank's Hot Sauce in a glass and pour a little bit of vodka in it, I'd sure as shit drink it. Then I'm gonna add half a cup of sour cream. Four tablespoons of cream cheese. Y'all, I'm gonna stir this and tell you a little story because it's gonna take a little bit of stirring. I, I was going out to a club one night and I didn't have any shoes. And my good friend Nisi was visiting me and we went out and we started looking for shoes. And we went to all kinds of stores and finally we found a big girl store, if you know what I mean. And we found some shoes and this the lovely lady helped me pick out some shoes and I got some white pumps. Listen y'all, I got some big ass feet. And this woman, she was trying to help me be sexy. And she showed me some shoes and they were probably three sizes too small. Getting my foot in those shoes was like stuffing a baby elephant in a Volkswagen. I could feel my feet throbbing as we were walking in the door, but I was looking hot. I was looking sexy. I started walking across the floor and it felt like there was knives in my shoes. And I got over by the bar and I was about to have a drink and a young gentleman looked at me and he said, Hey baby, 
I've never seen you before. You're a good looking woman. And I said, if you don't get the away from me, I'm gonna cut you in half right now. And I said, I got to get the hell out of here. I sat in the car for the rest of the night in the heat in Charlotte, North Carolina, with my dress up over my titties, my wig in the back seat, and my feet hanging out the window, just throbbing. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a special crust. We're gonna put this in a cheesecake pan. So we are making a leveled up cheesecake looking macaroni and cheese. And we're gonna make a crust out of Ritz crackers and butter and salt and pepper. Here we go. We're just gonna pour these Ritz crackers right into the pan. See? All crumbled up and ready to go. This has got to be melted, sorry. Oh my God, Becky, look at her butt. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. I'm trying to look at the back of my hair. <laughs> this ain't for you. <laughs> it's party in the front, nobody's business in the back. So then we're gonna pour this butter over those Ritz crackers. They already buttery, we wanna add some butter to them. God to Marty. We're gonna mix in our salt and pepper. Then we're gonna put our macaroni and cheese into our nine inch spring form pan. You got this over here. Velveter! You ready? No, you got That's what he said. <laughs> I wish somebody looked at my dirty work area. <laughs> Y'all, I have lasagna styled stacked these noodles in this spring form pan and I put a little layer and then I put some cubes of Velveeta cheese and then another layer and some cubes of Velveeta cheese and then I'm gonna put a couple of pieces of Velveeta cheese up on the top. I'm gonna sprinkle some Ritz crackers on the top and sprinkle it with paprika. I'm gonna put it in the oven at 350 degrees. I love cheese, I love cheese, I love cheese. For 45 minutes. All right, let's take a peek. Mm. Oh, gee, Jesus. Look at that, y'all. Look at it. Just look at it. Have you ever seen a macaroni and cheese shaped like a cheesecake? No, you haven't. Y'all, man overboard! This is gonna impress your family and friends so much they're gonna think you went and got a culinary degree from Florence Darlington Tech. Y'all, this has got all that deliciousness in it and it's got that kicked up heat from Frank's hot sauce. You better get you some today. It is delicious. Look at that, y'all. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click that bell down there for notifications. And vote for me for the next large and lovely Bond girl. And, and most importantly, stay delicious, y'all. Ooh, black cherry. Mm -mm -mm. I'm coming for you, Daniel Craig. I'm coming. <laughs>